what's going on guys welcome back it's barry here with the squad guys and today we're going to be doing a gaunty uncanny pre-con outlaws of thunder junction deck uh we're doing a hundred dollar deck today so let's just get into it let's look at what this commander does gaunty canny Inquis uh, inquisitor two and soul tie legendary creature aether born rogue spells you cast but don't own cost one less to cast whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player look at the top card of that player's library exile it face down you may play that card for as long as it remains exiled and mana of any type can be spent to cast a spell really cool mainly because we're going to be able to also play lands from those so just in case we're struggling on lands but if we're able to get gaunty out fairly early then we can go ahead and make up for those things so we're going to have a bunch of things that's going to be going on in this deck the one thing i kind of don't like about this deck though i gotta say right now is it actually i kind of do like it because i feel like it scales with the table that you're at right the more high powered um decks you're going up against the more high power cards you're going to be able to siphon with gaunty uh and if you're at a lower power deck it kind of scales well with that too just because we're at a hundred dollar deck so we're not putting any combos in here to, to finish out the game i feel like we're finishing out this game with this deck fairly honest <laughs> but let's look into this deck right real quick and one one thing i do got to note to say is that i did get it uh i get i did get to check out the pre-con deck list and it wasn't anything too spectacular to me so i kind of just went with my own thing and so hopefully you guys can understand that um a lot of these cards you can probably you could probably already get from the pre-con and so this is almost just going to look like an upgraded version of what i would turn this deck into so let's look at our sneaky sneakies these are going to be our creatures that are going to be able to get us access to other opponents cards as well uh, as well and going to give us the ability to take advantage of dealing combat damage to our opponents whether it's one damage or whether it's going to be one of our game ending enchantments that's going to allow us to close out the game wow i said that twice <laughs> So let's go ahead and do a quick rundown of uh, some of our cre our lower costed creatures. We're looking at about 12 uh, like one to two drop creatures that are going to that's going to be able to trigger our Gonti. Uh, but some of them do pull double duty as far as like you can see right here. The only one that really does double duty is Siren Storm Tamer that's going to be able to counter a spell targeting a permanent of one of ours and then gender brute which is going to be able to sacrifice itself and gain us three life later on it's not sometimes it's significant i'm not gonna lie uh but yeah these are gonna be the creatures that we have here most of them are just unblockable uh like tormented soul and changeling outcast are the ones that can block but the rest can let's look at our two drops so we have Blighted Agent, Dothy Horror, and Lo Lo uh, Looter Ilkor, which is nice because it's going to give us the ability to loot. We have Dothy Cutthroat, <laughs> which can destroy a Dothy Voidwalker because, you know, sometimes that matters. Uh, Blighted Agent is pretty nice because it has Infect and on the off chance that we poison someone else out that's their fault <laughs> and we have invisible stalker which is probably going to be the best one i would say as far as our unblockable creatures go just because it has hexproof it's really hard to get rid of board rifts are usually the only thing that get rid of it or like uh what's called sacrifice effects uh, if if it's the only creature that's on the board but yeah that's i feel like that's gonna really be doing it for all of our unblockable creatures uh let's look at our other things uh, the big sugar this is going to be the cards that are going to help us take advantage of the cards that we're going to be getting from our opponents so we have uh biden of that oh biden of thassa is going to be this whole slide is going to be cards that are going to help us draw more cards because we have a whole bunch of unblockable creatures i guess it's the same thing right biden of thassa is probably one of my favorite ones just because it's uh, <laughs> it has the ability to ability to make an opponent attack with their creatures uh sometimes a lot of opponents like to hold back their creatures maybe they're really cool effects like azusa or something like that that they really don't want to attack with but biden of that will make them do it uh it doesn't work against mana dorks though <laughs> uh, we also have the indomitable two and two blue legendary artifact vehicle it has trample whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player draw a card has crew three and if you have uh 
three or more pirates or vehicles you can bring it back you can cast it from the graveyard uh yeah but these two cards are very similar uh but at least one of them can attack the other one kind of has a uh, control over the board and then we have predators hour one in the black sorcery until end of turn creatures you control gain menace and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player exile the top card of that player uh of that player's library you may look at it play it it's, it's basically our commander in a sorcery just in case our commander just gets a little bit too expensive later on we can do this for a one-off and hopefully dig into things that are going to help us close out this game we're also going to be looking at Edric Spy Master, which is also in the command in the commander deck. One in Simic, legendary creature Elf Rogue. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents, its controller may draw a card. We should be able to take advantage of this the most. Yes, it does give our opponents card draw, but they're not going to be swinging as much as we will. So we should, for us, we should be at least drawing three to four cards uh every turn and hopefully our opponents are only drawing one one to two at the most uh but hey you never know you might be going up against token decks there's a whole bunch of token decks now in this format and so you just gotta time this really carefully to make sure that you're gonna be able to take the most advantage out of it uh toski bear of secrets is three in the green legendary creature squirrel can be countered indestructible it has to attack each combat uh, and then also whenever a but this time it's only for us whenever a creature we control deals co combat damage to a player draw a card so we're going to be doing a lot we're going to be hopefully drawing a lot of cards we already have two slides of this that's the same thing right or in frostfang three and two green uh 10 creatures you control have death touch uh, and then whenever a creature you control deals come draw a card again so man we should just be outvaluing our opponents in this deck right <laughs> and orin frostfang is really cool too because it gives us an ability to give our opponents a choice of whether they want to trade their creatures or not just in case we don't have our unblockable creatures on the board uh <laughs> you brand new these are going to be the cards that are pretty brand new i think they're these are the cards that are in the new uh, upcoming set Whew, sorry i'm super caffeinated <laughs> we're gonna be looking at doc arlock grizzly genius uh simic colors legendary creature bear druid spells you cast from graveyard <coughs> or exile cost two less to cast plotting cards from your hand cost two less and it's a two three pretty overstated i would say at two three but also like the plotting situation doesn't really matter for this deck it's more for us getting a discount for our our, our cards that we're going to be exiling with gaunty we also have original gaunty in here as well so we as you saw we we're going to have multiple ways to have our commander's effect in the deck as well and savvy trader three and a green <coughs> when it enters the battlefield exile target permanent card from your graveyard you may play that card for as long as it remains exile so a nice little eternal witness effect but it also gives our our spells from anywhere other than our hand one last to, uh, to cast so acting like an emerald medallion or i forgot what is it called yeah yeah, yeah. Jet, jet medallion all that stuff so and being a 3-3 not too bad but mainly in here just for the cost reduction and the um recursion effects we also had like i said we're gonna have multiple ways to take advantage or have our commander's ability in the deck so dreef's themes been uh, dreef dream thieves bandana is a two mana artifact equipment whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player look at the top card of the library then exile it face down for as long as it remains exiled you may play it and mana of any type blah blah blah, blah. costs only one mana to uh to, to equip i think there's a pretty pretty sweet equipment and this is probably going to see a lot more play in other decks that are hopefully want to take advantage of other people's cards uh, i know that's like sort of one of the most hated archetypes of commander is taking other people's cards but that's kind of my favorite and then we also have orochi soul reaver five and a black creature snake ninja rogue but it has ninjutsu for three and a black whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player create a treasure token and manifest a top card of that player's library so super cool we like i said we have about 10 to 12 unblockable creatures in here so every turn if we're making three treasures and we're getting three more bodies onto the battlefield it's it's just straight up value and for four you should be able to cast this for four mana for the ninjutsu rather than the six mana um 
it's just a really i think it's a really strong card and i i really like this i kind of want like three or four of them <laughs> And then we have Felix, five boots, two and soul tie, legendary creature, ooze rogue, menace, ward two, because everything has ward now. <laughs> if a creature you control dealing combat damage to a player causes the triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time, five and four, five power, four toughness. Okay, one thing I do gotta say is I'm kind of really getting tired of the, this design space of having just a whole bunch of things that trigger twice i think this is about what maybe like the sixth or seventh card that we've gotten that's going to give us uh, additional triggers like i know annie joins up is another one that's coming out in this set uh but you gotta play it because it's it's you know you just it's too good not to play you know what i mean uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely a, a pretty decent body on a creature has protection and has the ability to trigger our combat damage effects twice. So, you know, if this is out and we have Biden at that's out, we're going to be drawing two extra cards, like an extra card per creature or something like that. So uh, really strong. And I think probably be a really cool commander on its own. Very reminiscent of Yarlock, though, but this is more combat trigger focus. So at least there's that. <laughs> and uh these are gonna be my top picks for the deck these are sort of uh the cards that i probably put in there that does that didn't come in the uh, actual pre-con so we have druid's repository one and two green enchantment whenever could you control attacks put a charge counter on it and then we could remove charge counters to add more mana to our to our pool so just in case we get this out early and we're able to start cashing in counters uh, for the spells that we're ripping off the top of other people's libraries with Gonti, that just gives us a way to get uh, access to a lot more mana. Uh, rogue class <laughs> is going to be a or uh, gosh, what is not or Demir enchantment. Really, I I love the class uh, enchantments by the way. But this one has whenever a creature you control deals dam combat damage to a player, exile the top card of that player's library face down. You may look at it for as long as it remains exiled, and then you can level it up for three mana and level it up by th uh, for four mana to be able to play those cards. But I kind of just like it for the ability to take cards out of people's decks that so they just don't have access to it. Uh, <laughs> And it does, this one doesn't say whenever one or more. It just says whenever a creature. So if you decide to go full full swing on one person and take out four to five spells out of them, it, it might just set them so far back that they're pretty null and void for the rest of the game. Uh, and then, like, obviously, being able to pay four mana into it, you should be able to insult it. It's really easy, especially if you have Druid's Repository out there. The, to be able to have access to a bunch of cards from opponent's decks, again, another way a very gaunty like ability uh, can just propel us so much more forward than the rest of the table. And then we have Ringsight, which is just going to be a three mana uh you know tutor effect the you know the ring taps you it lets us uh search if our if one of our legendary creatures are out uh hopefully the the card ha we do have to reveal the card which is because you know we have to show that it does share colors with our wh whatever legendary that we have but just a really nice budget tutor for the deck and and this is probably gonna be the whole bread and butter for the whole uh for the whole deck beast master ascension two and a green enchantment whenever a creature you control attacks you may put a quest counter on beast master ascension as long as beast master ascension has seven or more quest counters on it creatures you control uh, get plus five plus five so if we're able to get this out early enough and start building up those quest counters and hopefully protect it to possibly end in the game that way where obviously you want to kind of target the player that has the most ability to to get rid of this enchantment but again we do have ways to recur it and it will just take a little bit of time to rebuild it but if we have a bunch of unblockable creatures uh if we have a bunch of creatures from our uh, our opponents then we should be able to just replay this again get it back or whatever but uh definitely gonna be one of the one uh the best ways to end the game at least through our deck you know we never know it's hard to kind of goldfish this deck because you're like well what am i getting from my opponents so like that kind of changes up the whole game plan but uh definitely definitely i feel like this is the auto include for the amount of unblockable creatures you're gonna have in this deck and uh yeah that's gonna be gaunty uh kenny 
Inquisitor to in a uh, soul tie. Um, definitely a fun one. It's it's very uh, it's it's so flexible that it's kind of hard to just. You know, obviously, you want your base to be, sort of be the same. Whether you go, maybe you go soul tie flyers or you go soul tie just unblockable creatures or shadow or anything like that. Um, definitely, you want to have that base there because you want to be able to trigger his ability. But after that, it's kind of whatever else you want. I do have things like villainous wealth in this deck, which is just one way that we can possibly just go absolutely nuts. Uh, we do have other card draw effects in here, like Grand, uh, Guardian Projects, since it got reprinted in Fallout. It's fallen within the scope of being in a hundred dollar budget deck. Um, but yeah definitely let me know what you guys think let me know how you guys like this deck when it comes out or maybe you guys already printed it out to want to test play it and all that stuff but uh yeah thank you guys for joining us uh like comment and subscribe and again we always appreciate you